Hi guys, it's your girl Gayu J tuning in with another video for you today. Today's video, as promised, is the types of symptoms that um pica can cause, especially eating lots of lots of cornstarch, the type of symptoms you can have. But before we get into the type of symptoms, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for your interest. And I ask you to please continue sharing, continue commenting, continue liking. And if maybe you don't eat starch or you may know someone or maybe a family friend that eats starch, please have them subscribe to my channel because it will help, help them transition and their journey to becoming starch free. As many of you may or may not know, I ate starch for over 20 something years, but now I am starch free. As I said on the last video yesterday, even if I am starch free, I still take two of these every single night. I still take two iron pills, each are 325 a milligram. I take two every single night. And if you wanna know, on Saturday's video, I'll tell you what I do to not get sick because I know, myself included, with many people taking iron pills, sometimes it makes you feel like your stomach is upset. Sometimes it can constipate you or give you diarrhea, whatever symptoms. But I take mine at night because, um, and I'll, I'll, you know, this will be a different video. But I take two irons every single day. I haven't taken it for today. Um, but we'll take it before bedtime. Thank you so much for tuning in. So let's get into the portion of the symptoms. I'll tell you the symptoms I've had. Why, when I was eating cornstarch, I used to have um, a lot of discharge. Excuse me for the explicit content. I used to have a lot of discharge. And I was prone to yeast infection often because of the starch. And also to let me remind you, any symptoms that I've listed here and you have questions or concern, please contact your primary care and they can further assist you. While I was on starch, heavy breathing, um, there's time I could only breathe through my mouth, not through my nose. I got tired very easily. Um, I had inside mouth sores. My tongue would get, especially when I used to do those microwavable chunks. It's like when you first start eating it, it tastes really burnt and disgusting. But once your system gets used to it, you know, sometimes you can't wait for the starch to cool down because your craving is unbearable. So you tend to eat burnt, I mean hot um, cornstarch. So I had these burnts. So when I would brush my teeth, my gum, also it would cause my gums to be very sensitive so it wasn't until I stopped eating starch that because I used to go to my dentist and you know when I brush I start to bleed through my gum because you know I don't know if you know this but starch is basically it's carb but starch turns into sugar and it's very bad for your gums so I was having that symptoms also I gained over 90 pounds I still have the weight gain as a matter of fact, um, almost five years of no cornstarch, I still have to see a nutrition. So on Monday, I go see my nutrition because um, that's the that's the aftermath of what starch gave me. So I st I still deal with the weight. I mean the weight gain and all of that. But something that I will have for the rest of my life is that I will be on iron for the rest of my life. But on top of that is that um, foot, your feet, your ankles get big. They get swollen and um, you have to drink plenty of fluids. So when my ankles, if I go a week without taking my iron pills, my ankles, both of them, um, will get swollen because that's just the thing of having severe anemic, anemic. 
So that was one of the things like your feet get swollen and sometimes you don't know what's going on. And I was freaking out because when I went on Google, Google, you know, Google diagnosed me and said, oh, it's probably a heart issue. So when I went to my doctor, I'm, I gave him my diagnosis. Oh, my God, I'm going to die because Google said I have a heart issue. But when he ran tests and, you know, he knows my history with starch, he said, no, it's a it's the anemia that's causing it. And you need to drink plenty of water. But he says you cannot miss any dosages of the iron and you will remain on the iron for the rest of your life so those are the symptoms i no longer get the discharge um i'm no longer prone to um yeast infections the um the aftermath i'm dealing with now is the weight gain um i still get my ankles if i sit for a long period of time my ankle will get swollen so that still does happen. I have seen, because I was worried, I've seen a cardiologist. Everything is good. It's just the price I pay. I have to pay. So that's why I encourage you, if maybe you may not eat starch or you know someone who eats starch, please have them subscribe to my channel because I'm going to tell you all the nutrition guidelines that I followed and I still follow to this day. But like I said, this video is not only going to be that content. I'm going to have family vlogs and everything else. But three days, two or three days out of the week, I am going to have content on how, what to do to, to help yourself on this journey and becoming such free. Tomorrow's video, which will be a Friday, as I promised, will be step two. Um, what was after step one, what was the next thing I did? So step two video will be uploaded tomorrow for you so i hope i've answered your questions if you have questions for me please do not hesitate to add them into the comment session if for some reason um you're uncomfortable about sending those questions my email if you go on there my email is displayed and you can email me and i will respond to your questions privately if you don't feel like putting them down in the comment section thank you so much Thank you, thank you, thank you. I know I didn't go into details and it was brief, but if you have more questions and you don't want to put them in the comment section, please email me. My email is on is on the YouTube thing. If you scroll over to the About section, you'll see my email. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. As always, I love you. You are be kind to one another. To one another. Be compassionate to one another. Take care of yourself. And remember, if I can stop eating starch, you can too. Thank you so much. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Comment, like, subscribe. If you have someone, a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend, tell them to come over here and hang out with us. Thank you again. God bless you. Bye. Bye, guys. Sorry I look horrible. <laughs>